Taurus, Thumb, Rising, and Venus signs. This is for Taurus, Thumb, Rising, and Venus signs. My name is D. Ritter, the Million Dollar Terry. Once again, for those of y'all that are new, and welcome to the Million Dollar Channel. So, we got the Seven of Cups, and we also have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So, for a lot of my Tauruses, right now at this moment, right now at this moment, we got disharmony, misalignment, working alone, lack of teamwork, disorganized group conflict, and we also got alignment, personal values, reality, clarity, and lack of purpose. So for a lot of my tours, it's right now at this moment. Some of y'all are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't know if this relationship is going to continue. And we got the Eight of Pentacles, which indicates like passion, hard work, high standards, mastery, and just basically like apprenticeship energy. So some of y'all are in a situation that Eight of Pentacles might be telling you that you have to, you know, chase after education, going back to school or taking on a new skill or taking on some type of trade to open new doors for you, Taurus. And we also have the Knight of Cups. So we got moodiness, disappointment, overactive, imagination, jealousy, and untrustworthy. Some of y'all are dealing with a masculine energy, and that's his energy right now. So be careful. I need everybody to flood the comments and don't get signed, y'all, even if you are not to Taurus. What else is coming in for Taurus right now? So we got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So yes, some of y'all are experiencing some bad karma. And yes, some of y'all are experiencing some change or resistance. And yes, this is a general Taurus. And we got the Eight of Wands. So for a lot of my Tauruses, right now at this moment, we got speed, action, movement, swift change, and sudden action. And we also got the Knight of Swords. So we got ambitious, fast thinking, action oriented, brave, driven, succeed. So with the Knight of Swords, especially for those of my Taurus men, it looks like you could be in a position to where you're on a mission and there's nothing stopping you. The only problem is that you might be too quick at taking action and not planning. So for a lot of my Taurus, this is the universe basically telling you to make sure that you have a plan. And we also got the shrimp card in reverse. So for those of y'all that's dealing with a Leo, things might not go as planned with this Leo. So keep that in mind too. And we got temperance. So for those of y'all that's dealing with a Sagittarius, you could have a Sagittarius coming in. So we got avoid extreme distractions and Take the middle road in decision-making, all things, and try to bring balance and go forward with patience and test the waters carefully before jumping into a situation. And we also got the four of swords. So some of y'all are literally exhausted right now. We got a swords that is literally like, oh, my God, I'm so tired of situations being crazy. And we also have the devil in reverse. So we got releasing limitations and releasing restrictions. This is the Capricorn energy. So for those of y'all that were dealing with a Capricorn, this could have been the case with this Capricorn. And we also got the Four of Cups in reverse. So for those of y'all that's dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, this is accepting the situation for what it is and removing yourself. And that's just what you need to do. What is the final message for this extension for Taurus? We got the Seven of Wands in reverse. So, this is owning up to something. This is taking something for what it is. This is no longer being overwhelmed for how a situation is going. And this is having that confidence moving forward. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Knight of Wands. So, some of y'all got an Aries Leo Sagittarius coming in. They're coming in pretty strong towards. It's up to you now if you decide to let them in. I appreciate you, Tori. Thank you.